Question 15. What is the fastest type of JDBC driver? Answer. JDBC driver performance will depend on a number of issues. The quality of the driver code. The size of the driver code. The database server and its load. Network topology. The number of times your request is translated to a different API. In general, all things being equal, you can assume that the more your request and response change hands, the slower it will be. This means that type 1 and type 3 drivers will be slower than type 2 drivers. The database calls are make at least 3 translations versus 2 and type 4 drivers are the fastest. Only one translation. Question 16. What is metadata and why should I use it? Answer. Metadata. Data about data. Is information about one of two things. Database information. Java.sql.database metadata. Or information about a specific result set. Java.sql. Result set metadata. Use database metadata to find information about your database. Such as its capabilities and structure. Use result set metadata to find information about the results of an SQL query such as size and types of columns. Question 17. How does the Java database connectivity JDBC, work? Answer. The JDBC is used whenever a Java application should communicate with a relational database for which a JDBC driver exists. JDBC is part of the Java platform standard. All visible classes used in the Java slash database communication are placed in package java.sql. Main JDBC classes. Driver manager. Manages a list of database drivers. Matches connection requests from the Java application with the proper database driver using communication sub-protocol. The first driver that recognizes a certain sub-protocol under JDBC, such as ODC or DB anyway slash o will be used to establish a database connection driver. The database communications link, handling all communication with the database. Normally, once the driver is loaded, the developer need not call it explicitly. Connection interface with all methods for contacting a database statement encapsulates an SQL statement which is passed to the database to be parsed, compiled, planned and executed. Result set. The answer slash result from a statement. A result set is a fancy to-d list which encapsulates all outgoing results from a given SQL query. Question 18. What is the advantage of using a prepared statement? Answer. For SQL statements that are executed repeatedly, using a prepared statement object would almost always be faster than using a statement object. This is because creating a prepared statement object by explicitly giving the SQL statement causes the statement to be pre-compiled within the database immediately. Thus, when the prepared statement is later executed, the DBMS does not have to recompile the SQL statement and prepare an execution plan. It simply runs the statement. Typically, prepared statement objects are used for SQL statements that take parameters. However, they can also be used with repeatedly executed SQL statements that do not accept parameters. Question 19. What does result set actually contain? Is it the actual data of the result or some links to databases? If it is the actual data then why can't we access it after connection is closed? Answer. A result set is an interface. Its implementation depends on the driver and hence, what it contains depends partially on the driver and what the query returns. For example with the ODE bridge what the underlying implementation layer contains is an ODBC result set. A type 4 driver executing a stored procedure that returns a cursor. On an Oracle database it actually returns a cursor in the GitHub say. The Oracle cursor can however be processed like a result set would be from the client. Closing a connection closes all interaction with the database and releases any locks that might have been obtained in the process. Question 20. How do I insert an image file or other raw data into a database? Answer. All raw data types, including binary documents or images, should be read and uploaded to the database as an array of bytes. Byte. Originating from a binary file. Read all data from the file using a file input stream. Create a byte ray from the read data. Use method set byte scene index. Byte. Data. Of java.sql.prepared statement to upload the data. 
21. What scalar functions can I expect to be supported by JDBC? Answer. JDBC supports numeric, string, time, date, system, and conversion functions on scalar values. For a list of those supported and additional information, see section A.1.4 support scalar functions in the JDBC data access API for driver writers. Note that drivers are only expected to support those scalar functions that are supported by the underlying DB engine. Question 22. What does normalization mean for java.sql.date and java.sql.time? Answer. These classes are thin wrappers extending java.util.date, which has both date and time components. Java.sql.date should carry only date information and a normalized instance has the time information set to zeros. Java.sql.time should carry only time information and a normalized instance has the date set to the Java epoch. January first 1970 and the milliseconds portion set to zero Question 23. What JDBC objects generate SQL warnings? Answer. Connections, statements and result sets all have a get warnings method that allows retrieval. Keep in mind that prior result set warnings are cleared on each new read and prior statement warnings are cleared with each new execution. Get warnings itself does not clear existing warnings, but each object has a clear warnings method. Question 24. Which is the preferred collection class to use for storing database result sets? Answer. When retrieving database results, the best collection implementation to use is the linked list. The benefits include, retains the original retrieval order, has quick insertion at the header slash tail, doesn't have an internal size limitation like a vector where when the size is exceeded a new internal structure is created, or you have to find out size beforehand to size properly, permits user controlled synchronization unlike the pre-collections vector which is always synchronized. Question 25. I need to have results set on a page where the user can sort on the column headers. Any ideas? Answer. One possibility. Have an optional field in your form or get URL called. Appropriately, order with a default value of either no order or whatever you want your default ordering to be, i.e. timestamp, username, whatever. When you get your request, see what the value of the order element is. If it's null or blank, use the default. Use that value to build your SQL query and display the results to the page. If you are caching data in your servlet, you can use the collection framework to sort your data. See java.util.collections. If you can get it into a list format, then you can create a collator which can impose a total ordering on your results. Question 26. What's the best way, in terms of performance, to do multiple insert slash update statements? A prepared statement or batch updates. Answer. Because prepared statement objects are pre-compiled, their execution can be faster than that of statement objects. Consequently, an SQL statement that is executed many times is often created as a prepared statement object to increase efficiency. A callable statement object provides a way to call stored procedures in a standard manner for for all BIMSs, their execution can be faster than that of prepared statement object. Batch updates are used when you want to execute multiple statements together. Actually, there is no conflict here. While it depends on the driver slash DBMS engine as to whether or not you will get an actual performance benefit from batch updates, statement, prepared statement, and callable statement can all execute the add batch method. Question 27. What is pessimistic concurrency? Answer. With a pessimistic approach, locks are used to ensure that no users, other than the one who holds the lock, can update data. It's generally explained that the term pessimistic is used because the expectation is that many users will try to update the same data, so one is pessimistic that an update will be able to complete properly. Locks may be acquired, depending on the DBMS vendor, automatically via the selected isolation level. Some vendors also implement select for update which explicitly acquires a lock. Question 28. What is optimistic concurrency? Answer. An optimistic approach dispenses with locks, except during the actual update, and usually involves comparison of timestamps or generations of data to ensure that data hasn't changed between access and update times. It's generally explained that the term optimistic is used because the expectation is that a clash between multiple updates to the same data will seldom occur. 
Question 29. What is connection pooling? Answer. Connection pooling is a technique used for sharing server resources among requesting clients. Connection pooling increases the performance of web applications by reusing active database connections instead of creating a new connection with every request. Connection pool manager maintains a pool of open database connections. Question 30. Which Java and Java.SQL data types map to my specific database types? Answer. JDBC is of necessity reliant on the driver and underlying DBMS. These do not always adhere to standards as closely as we would like, including differing names for standard Java types. To deal with this, first, there are a number of tables available in the JDK JDBC documentation dealing with types. 